Today I hoisted sail for the first time. It pretty much worked. The plans called for just a stiff bar of metal and then some type of a lashing. But of course I uh, handled it my own way. Carbon fiber mast weighing in at eight pounds. I happen to have this in my leather bin. I think it's like someone's festival garb. As we work away on beautiful San Pablo Avenue. Nice. Pretty good fit. Today I got to use for the first time the carbon fiber mast partner that I created with a um, cool spring-loaded uh, lock. We finished all the lacing of the spars. I followed very closely the uh, tips of Michael Storer on his website and uh, purchased the types of ropes that he recommended for um, rigging the Goat Island Skiff. This is a Goat Island Skiff specific sail. The hull is a modified first mate by Ross Lillystone, but because I scaled it up 12%, the stock sail that was specified in the plans, which was 76 square feet, didn't feel quite big enough. So I checked with Ross and decided to uh, scale it up. Beautiful bowline. So this part's gonna go up, down, down. They're gonna get a four to one mechanical advantage. Pretty satisfying using the pulleys for the first time. Gotta say, it all worked and uh, excited to launch pretty soon, hopefully this week. Yeah, look how the downhaul doesn't have that slack issue now. I'm gonna shift, shift this one forward and try to bring it kind of like right here. And now the sail is more like it is in the picture. And look how much head clearance there's gonna be when we're sitting. This is really nice. That's cool. So it's, it's definitely tunable. Now the downhaul has more room. The pulleys were touching each other before, the two halves of the fiddle system. So this basically means that we can sail tomorrow, wind permitting and temperature permitting. And I kinda wanna sail as soon as possible. I just feel like you're supposed to, in a situation like this, go to the water, buy a bike, and put in and just see how, how it is. I've had this interesting relationship with the more experienced boat builders on the wooden boat community, particularly in the wooden boat forum, where I, I have this strong desire to seek their approval for my unusual project which is, you know, the bicycle nature of it, and then the use of this translucent G10 material for a hull, when it's called the Wooden Boat Forum, like these guys love plywood. And, uh, and also my extensive use of carbon fiber parts instead of wooden parts. And like even right now, like I'm looking up at my yard and I'm seeing like a pretty sharp bend in it. And I'm like, I feel the need to consult the guys from the Wooden Boat Forum, and I know that they'll answer my questions, and I feel really grateful for their experience. And uh, I also know that some of them have been resistant um, to my project because it's 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 a diversion from the plans. Early on in the process, I proudly announced that I was going to do, you know, a modified Ross Lillystone first mate. Uh, actually, I said that I was going to build a first mate in G10, which is the translucent material for bike sailing. And one of the gentlemen there was basically saying, like, you shouldn't call it a first mate because it's not a first mate. You know, it's too different. Um, you're bringing the name of Ross Lillystone into peril by associating it with your project, which, you know, is not traditional. Like. Boat builders have a specific reputation and the community on the Wooden Boat Forum love the boat builders. And so when I announced that I was gonna do it pretty differently, um, using really unusual material, there was some resistance saying like, you shouldn't even call it a first mate. That was why I came up with the name First Mod because it's sort of like a first mate, but it's heavily modified. And uh, so after that point, um, there have been some real loyal readers on the on the wooden boat forum and i know that when i post this question i'm going to get a quick answer it's an amazing moment where like the the interconnectedness of our time is 
is, is like applying itself to this traditional craft of wooden boat making, which is now hybrid composite and wooden boat building.